Welcome and welcome back to Lissa's Lizards. I'm Alyssa and these are all of my critters. So if you watched my last YouTube video, you know that I was lucky enough this year to get to go to the North American Reptile Breeders Conference in Tinley Park, Illinois. And one of the best parts about this reptile show is that we got to basically get together with tons of reptile keepers, breeders, friends from around the country who share the same hobby and passion that we do. So one of the best parts about that is getting to pick their brains and talk about all the different things going on in the community and how to care for the animals that we all love. So one of the things that I did while I was there, I went and asked as many YouTubers, reptile keepers, pet owners, breeders, basically what their number one piece of advice is for brand new reptile keepers. So I'm going to give you guys that advice and I hope you enjoy. All right, we are here with Mason Barnes. What's Be up? sure to give him a follow if you don't already. I don't know what you're doing, but we are asking him what his number one piece of advice would be to brand new reptile keepers. Number one piece of advice to brand new reptile keepers. Um, research, 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 research. That Literally, is my favorite answer. <laughs> you can never do enough research about the animal that you're gonna keep. Um, even if you're currently keeping them, there's always new stuff coming out. So continue to learn and always be open to it. Um, but, you know, especially with reptiles, for the most part, a lot of them are really easy if you have proper research and, you know, education down before you end up getting one. So don't impulse buy. Um, all your especially at an expo. For. Great tip for while we're at an expo. <laughs> With, with expos, it's really hard because it's like you have no idea if it's a breeder or where it came from, if it's an import, and all of those factors play such a big role in the actual care of the animal, what you need to do. So say it's, it's an import or something and it hasn't been treated for internal external parasites, you need to make sure that's done. Um, it's very, very specific, but once you've done your research and your care is down and things like that, for the most part, most species are fairly easy. So, research. You, you gotta do it. No impulse bite. Okay, we are here with my friend Catalia. If you don't know her and follow her yet, you should. She is wonderful. And she is going to tell us what her number one piece of advice is for brand new reptile keepers. Well, I mean, of course, everyone will say uh, do lots of research, which is true. But also, I think you want to do research on who you're buying from. Um, because especially if you're getting something that can also be purchased as like an import or like a wild caught animal, you yes. want to do lots of research on who you're buying from as well to make sure you're getting a healthy animal from good lines and that was, you know, raised well. And if you are getting wild caught, you probably want to have a lot of experience with the animal for breeding purposes or something. Experience with it or at least have a good vet so that you know what to do and, you, and basically yeah. somebody to go to to help because you're going to need it if yeah. you don't have it already. But you should have the experience first. Yeah, for well caught stuff yeah. probably. Yeah. But yeah, I just do research on the animal, of course, and then on who you're buying from. It's very important. Number one. All right, we All are right. here with the Dave Kaufman. How's it going, everybody? If you don't know who he is, you should. So definitely check him out everywhere. He's not hard to find. But he is going to tell us what his number one piece of reptile advice is for brand new reptile keepers. Okay, so my one piece of advice, I've given this a lot of thought, about 30 seconds worth. And I guess my one piece of advice for new reptile people is when you go to an expo, Bring cash. That's a good one. I, I did not bring cash. Dumb. I didn't do it. So that is key. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Hey, guys. I'm here with David from Tiki's Geckos. And he obviously needs no introduction. If you don't know who he is, you need to give him a follow already. But he is going to tell us what his number one piece of advice is for brand new reptile keepers. Yeah, so my piece of advice is always for new keep new keepers that get into this. They're always going to, like, they see all the animals. They want to get into everything. Slow down. Take your time to really do the research behind the animals that you want. And if you're going to 
uh, if you're planning on getting a big collection, just slow it down. There's no need to rush it. A lot of times people would get a bunch of animals and then love it's, that. it's too much before they can, they, it starts getting out of hand. And It's easy. They're addicting. It's yeah, so easy exactly. To, That's to the thing. That. With geckos, our motto is literally satisfy your gecko addiction. Yeah. So, like, I know how addicting it can be. Make sure you do your research and take it slow. The animals aren't going anywhere and, you know, just enjoy the hobby. I love that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we are with Dan the Turtle Man, Hello. and today I am going to ask him if he has any advice for any new turtle keepers. Yeah. So. Yeah. so, as far as aquatic species, because that's mostly what I work with, yeah. keep it simple stupid would be point number one. Point number two, heated clean water. It will go far. Literally, that's like the number one thing. And UVB for older animals, but of course. Eat it clean water and keep it simple. Alright. You'll be fine. Don't you overthink it. it. They're fine. They're turtles. You heard it from him. He's the expert. Okay, so we're here with Jessica's animal friends, Hi. one of my good friends and favorite people in the reptile community and hobby. She's the best. She's also incredible with leopard geckos, which is uh, usually known as a beginner reptile. Yeah. So she's going to give us her number one piece of advice for brand new reptile keepers. Since everybody has been saying the very generic, do your research, which is obvious. I'm going to say, use a thermostat. Make sure you're regulating the heat equipment that you're using for your reptile so you don't burn them. That's so important. Solid advice. Thank you very much. All right, we're back with my favorite person. You know her, you love her. She is now going to give us her number one tip to brand new reptile keepers and what that would be. Yes, so I would recommend that you find a reptile vet prior to getting your animal. And the reason being, it's not an if, it's a win. So it's better to have a reptile vet checked out, good to go, know they have experience, they're legit, so when you need them, you have them. That is super accurate and I can attest to that. I went through like three or four different vets when I had my first problem with my pets yeah. before I found the right one. So, good call. Yep. We are with Lucas from Cold Blooded Parties and he is gonna give us his piece, his number one piece of advice to brand new reptile keepers. I would have to say, Research and be prepared. Uh, when you go into it, have everything set up. Don't get the animal and then figure it out. Um, like what I try to tell a lot of new reptile keepers is um, get the enclosure. And if you especially like bioactive or something like that, keep the enclosure alive before you commit to keeping an animal um, if That's you key for bioactive especially yes. because you have to get the cultures and the spring tails and the eye spots all established first. Yep. And if you can commit to the routine of keeping the enclosure alive, the humidity perfect, the temperatures perfect, if you can do that, then you are ready for the animal. But that's that's my number one key is make sure you are 100% prepared and ready. Absolutely. And everybody's kind of been saying that, but that's such a good note, especially on the bioactive, because a lot of people don't talk about that. Like just getting everything established first. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. There is that advice. I hope this helps. I know that there are so many new reptile keepers out there who are looking into getting into reptile keeping and just all the joys that come with it. So I really hope that this advice helps and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much.